Hi, Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I want to talk about the new version 3 of the Philips Hue app for iOS and Android. Philips have released a new version of the app uh, just a few weeks ago. Um, it's got a new design and brings various new features and today I want to give you a bit of a tour of the new app and show you what's new. So let's get straight into it and take a look. So this is version 3 of the Philips Hue app. As you can see straight away, the app is divided into the same sections as with the previous version, version 2. You've got Home, Routines, Explore and Settings. Um, from the home screen you get the familiar listing of the rooms that you have defined in your Hue system, except with a, a, a new design. There's a lot more rounded edges in this new version of the app, so a, a new design for sure. But there are new features as well. If I go into one of the rooms that I have defined here, let's say I go into the master bedroom, you can see the lights that you've got set up in that room, uh, similar to how you would in the previous version of the app. Um, if I switch to the scenes view, that's the middle of these three icons in the top right here, um, you've got a listing of all the scenes that you've got defined. The introduction video that I saw for the um, new version of the app said that there was going to be a bunch of new scenes, but I can't see these um, populated in here. Maybe that's only for, for new rooms. I'll have to have a play around with that. The biggest change is if I go into this third icon, this is the new color picker. This allows you to set the color um, of the lights in your room. Now you can see that there are two icons here on the color palette, one for each light defined in this room. If I tap on one, uh, it gives me the name of that light at the top of the screen here. This is Mark's table lamp, and if I tap on the other one, that's Andrew's table lamp. If I grab one of these icons and start dragging it around with my finger, it immediately turns the light on and starts setting the light to the color that I'm choosing. And I can change the brightness at the top of the screen as well very easily. Um, but the new thing that you can do here that you couldn't do in the previous app is you can actually group lights together. So I can grab hold of this light, drag it onto the other one, and you can see it now changes to a single icon with a number. This is because both of these lights are now grouped together and I can drag them around to set both lights to the color of my choice simultaneously, as well as change the brightness. Now, you might be wondering what's the value of that? Well, the primary value here is that you might have quite a few lights in a room. Uh, we've got certain rooms where we've got five, six lights set up. Um, you might only want to affect changes on some of the lights in your room. You might only want to say grab three of them and set them all to the same color but leave the others off or maybe leave the others unaffected on whatever setting they're currently at. Now previously the only way to easily and quickly do this would be to set up a new scene and then you could set all of those lights that you included in the scene to the settings of your choice quickly and easily. But being able to um, just change the color at will, just grab an icon and drag it around for a, a subset of lights in a particular room was a little bit harder to do and Philips have now changed this with this new version. It's very easy to cr quickly create a group, change the color and brightness of those lights without setting up new scenes, without having to kind of set up separate rooms for all of this to work. You don't have to work your way around this anymore, you can just do it natively within the app. And it's very easy to um, remove lights from a group if you want to, just tap on the group with the number on it and you can just drag the light out and it's then removed from the group and if you remove the last lights from a pair then it just breaks the group apart again and these are now just operating as independent lights so this is a nice new feature that they've added if I go back to the um, room view and have a look at the listing, um, if you tap on an individual light and make changes to that, you'll see up in the top left, you've also got these um, icons that represent the most recently used colors. Apparently we use orange quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure how these are updated. Um, I've not been able to find a way of sort of um, changing uh, what these are, um, so I'm not sure how these are being generated, whether it's just observing my most recently used colors. Um, from the primary color palette here that you saw, um, again, I, I was, from, from the introductory video that I saw from Philips, there was supposed to be kind of a listing of your most recently used or your favorite scenes across the top here, but um, all I've got is this new scene button, so maybe that's coming at a later, a later update, but so far so good. I do like this. Um, another thing that I did spot inside the explore section. If you go into Hue Entertainment, um, there's a new entry here for Hue Sync. Now when Hue Entertainment first launched, you had the Razer integration, so you could sync your Hue lights with your Razer gaming hardware. Now there's the new Hue Sync software. Basically you can just install this on your PC and it allows you to sync your Hue lights with whatever's on the screen. 
uh, whether it be games, TV, movies. Um, this is going to allow you, if you use your PC or laptop as your primary mechanism of accessing uh, entertainment, you'll be able to sync your Philips Hue lights with this. So it's good to see that this Hue entertainment feature is developing. Um, I'd like to see it develop fur further. Obviously, the, the kind of holy grail here would be, I guess, for it to integrate with smart TVs. Uh, but whether or not... Um, Philips Hue will be able to work with, uh, you know, popular TV manufacturers like uh, Samsung, LG, Sony, etc. to be able to bring that kind of integration remains to be seen. Um, obviously, they can bring it to PCs fairly easily by releasing this software, but integration with smart TVs, we'll have to see how that, uh, you know, if anything happens in that regard. But it's good to see that that feature is developing and hopefully it will continue to develop further. Um, I've been poking around inside the app and everything else seems to work in a similar fashion. Certainly everything in the routines screen here seems to work in the same way. I've not found any new settings of notes to play around with. Um, but certainly this is a, a nice new update to the software. Uh, with the previous version, version 2, Philips did add features to version 2 over time. So um, we'll probably see further development of version 3 over time as well. Um, certainly, you know, a benefit of a smart home system like this is that, you know, you can add new features over time if you choose to. Um, no word yet on whether or not there's going to be an update to the bridge, uh, whether a new bridge is on the way. I've not found any rumors to that regard, but if you've heard anything, do let me know. But certainly, I do like this app. It, it is a nice new update to the software. Okay, so that's the new app. Um, I did figure out in the end how to access the new scenes that Philips have added. You would go to create a new scene, it actually lists off all of the extra scenes that Philips have added, as well as, of course, giving you the ability to choose your own photo and create a scene based on the colours in that photo. But that's where all of the new scenes reside. I think this is a great update to the app. Um, I think it's great to see new features coming in, and of course this is one of the great things about smart home technology is that it can get better over time as the manufacturer releases new features, new firmware, and various updates to the system. So it's great to see that happening with Philips Hue. Um, I'll keep you updated over time with any additional features and new things that I discover about the app, and of course I'm sure Philips will keep on changing the app and the system by bringing in additional features. And of course I want to have a play around with that new Philips Hue entertainment feature. Uh, and see how well that works. But in the meantime, hopefully that's given you a good overview of the new version of the app. I have, of course, written up a companion blog post. You can find the link to that in the description below. If you've liked this video, please share it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.